Join me as I try to get the fullest looking hair possible using only these viral heatless curls. So you know how heatless curls have been taking the internet by storm lately? It seems like everyone is jumping on the bandwagon and for good reason. Who wouldn't want to achieve those bouncy, gorgeous curls without damaging their hair with heat? But what really got me curious was the claim that heatless curls can actually help you achieve fuller hair. I mean, if you're like me, you're also struggling with thinning, flat, lifeless locks at some point or another. So the idea of waking up with voluminous hair just by curling it differently was too intriguing to pass up. And that's exactly what we're going to explore today. How heatless curls can be the game changer you need to take your hair from lack of volume to fabulous. Whether you're a hair newbie or a seasoned pro, I'm excited to dive into the world of heatless curls with you and see just how much of a difference it can make. I'm sure we've all been there. We've spent hours styling our hair only to have it fall flat an hour later. Or we use hot tools that promise to give us the hair of our dreams, but actually end up damaging our hair in the long run. It's a vicious cycle and one that I'm sure many of you are tired of. Heat styling can be particularly damaging because it strips our hair of its natural oils, leading to dryness, breakage, and frizz. And let's be real, who hasn't experienced that dreaded feeling of sadness when you look in the mirror and see that your hair is not cooperating? When we use heat to style our hair, we're essentially causing damage to the cuticle, which can lead to breakage and split ends. And if you're like me, you've probably tried every hair serum and mask under the sun to try to undo the damage, but to no avail. But what if I told you there's a way to achieve the hair of your dreams without sacrificing its health? Enter Heatless Curls, the game-changing technique that is going to be a time saver. It's good for your hair too. One of the main reasons why Heatless Curls is so effective is that they allow your hair to work in its natural texture rather than fighting against it. By using the right techniques and products, if you like using products, you can enhance your hair's natural volume and texture, giving you that effortlessly just out of a salon look. And the best part, heatless curls are incredibly versatile. You can customize them to fit your hair type, face shape, and personal style. Whether you're looking for loose, bouncy beach waves or tight, bouncy curls, there's a heatless curl method there that's perfect for you. So let's dive into the different heatless curling tools you can use to create heatless curls. One of the easiest tools I tested is Kit Chi Kit, which consists of one satin heatless curling rod and two satin scrunchies. You place the center of the rod in the center of your head, secure it with the claw, and begin by grabbing a small section from the front of your hair and twisting it around the curling rod. Then you pull a section from the back of your hair and twist that in the same direction as the front. Then join that section with the first section. This method is sort of like a French braid. You keep twisting sections of your hair until you have one completed side wrap. Then you secure the end using the satin scrunchie and repeat the same for the other side. And let your hair sit overnight. This kit is very quick and easy, and most importantly, it's comfortable to sleep in. And the end results are curly or wavy hair, depending on how tightly you wrapped your hair. It also enhances my natural hair texture while adding volume and definition. Another heatless curling tool I tried was the Octo Curl. Looks like a headband with 16 strips. 
my recommendation after using the Octo Curl is to section your hair in half from top to bottom and begin to twist your hair around the lower strip first. Pull one strip of your hair from the front of the strip and twist it around the strip. Then pull another strip from behind the strip and roll that section in the same direction as the prior strand. Keep alternating between strands until you have wrapped it completely around the satin strip, then secure it with the bottom elastic end. I recommend you twist the elastic band about two to three times to ensure it doesn't unravel while you sleep. Once you have twisted the entire lower half of your hair, repeat the process for the top layer. This method of sectioning it and twisting technique will allow for higher bouncy spirals while you sleep. This method is perfect for those who want more even volume and defined curls. Let me show you how to remove each different heatless curling tools so you can be the judge as to which one works best for you. Okay, so now it's morning time and we're actually it's actually the afternoon because I've kind of been a little lazy and I've kept these curls in my hair. As you can see, I almost look like one of the characters from Star Wars. My husband watches that. I don't even know the name of the character. But anyways, I'm going to remove these so that you can see what my hair looks like. Again, I washed my hair up last night and I let it dry, dry completely. Then I applied the monoxinol in my areas, well, in my scalp, massaged it. And then after I brushed my teeth, I rolled this all up and I took pictures so that you guys can see what it looked like afterwards. So let's remove these and see how the final product looks like or the final outcome, not product. say not too bad looks pretty good and just some of you might be wondering did I put any hair product or anything in my hair I did not I don't like to wear hair product in my hair I just don't I never liked it so I'm still not a fan of it the only thing I did apply in my hair was the monoxanol to the scalp so it's not really it's monoxanol mixed with other stuff I can share a link in the description of the stuff I'm using and no I'm not affiliated with them I just I'm desperate trying to find something that will work with my hair. So again, the reason why I did this is because, you know, if you're like me, your hair is shedding and you're trying your best to try to keep your hair as much as you can, keep it from shedding, falling out. You want to minimize the use of hairstyling products. You also want to minimize heat to your hair. So that's why I decided since I like to curl my hair so it looks a little fuller, I decided, you know, how can I have a little bit of both worlds without damaging my hair further? So I decided to buy this little gadget. I saw another one online. It was uh, actually, it kind of looked like an octopus and I thought maybe that might work, but as you can see, not too bad. I don't think it's too bad. So in case any of y'all are interested, Okay, so I ordered these new heatless curls. They are octo curls. I don't know if you can see that. I got these on Amazon. Wanted to try something a little bit different to see what the results would look like. So I am going to unravel them. And I'll tell you, this This one's a little bit more work because like an octopus, it has hands on the top or arms on the top and arms on the bottom, as you will see as I unravel these. The other thing, it has kind of like a little headband here where you can either unbuckle it while you sleep if you want a little bit more comfort. I chose to keep it on. That's so my hair looks a little weird up at the top. But again, I was really tired last night. And so this one was a little more work. Hopefully it'll give me a little more defined curls. Because the goal here is to make my hair look fuller as I struggle through this loss of hair or trying to regain my hair. And to kind of make my life a little easier when I wake up in the morning, don't have to worry about styling my hair. I can just remove these and go. That's the goal.
And again, these are satin. This is a satin type of material. So it's nice for it, or it's gentle to your hair. I just got these yesterday, so I'm not quite sure how to use it just yet, but I just figured just wrap them, wrap your hair around, around each little tentacle or each little arm. So I missed one. So this is what it looks like. Kind of like an octopus. So that's what it looks like. Really turn around so that you can see everything. And so I will say that maybe I need to add a little bit of oil in my hair to just calm some of this frizziness down. I think I may have gone up or no, or you can just use your finger and twirl it and get them under control because it looked a little frizzy like. So there you have it. Again, this is a new one that I decided to try because I I just felt like I wasn't getting enough coverage with the other dry curler, but I will say that the other one is much easier to use, but I did notice that my hair kind of unraveled on one side. Maybe I sleep too much on that one side. And again, I did not put any product in my hair. I don't like putting product in my hair. So this is what it looks like, Octo Curl. The only place I could find it was on well, Amazon. And again, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. I just am looking for ways to make my hair look fuller, nicer, and just make it easier to get dressed in the morning. Thank you. Okay, so this is my second attempt with these Octo Curls. The first time I did it, I didn't like how my hair was bunched up up here. I thought there has to be a better method. And as I described in the video that I think the best way is to split your hair in half, top and bottom. Since these things do have legs on the bottom, legs on the top, they're kind of on top of each other. I think it would be best to curl, roll the top on the upper layers and then the bottom on the lower rail. So I'm going to unravel my hair. And again, the goal here is to one, be gentle on my hair, you know, by reducing heat. And two is because my hair is thinning, I'd like to, and I'm used to having volume, I would like to have a little more volume in my hair. So that is the goal here. So you gotta be a little gentle here in unrolling your hair. I d did not put any product in my hair. I don't like putting product in my hair. The only thing I did put the night before was the minoxinol, or it's not really minoxinol, it's a compound formula. It's a 7% minoxinol mixed with other stuff. And like I said, I will provide a link for that if anyone is interested. And you'll have to bear with me. I'm really tired. I find it very difficult to sleep with this particular type of roller. I like the idea of being able to niche down or get more concentrated and have more isolated rolls, but it's kind of hard to sleep. And so I'm really tired right now, very tired. After fighting with myself, trying to fall asleep, I decided to just get up at four o'clock. And I did unloosen the front band to see if that might make it easier for me to sleep, but it didn't. I don't know. And I'm a back sleeper. 
I apologize if these bands are hitting my mic. I guess a thought is that if you're going to go out in the evening and you want to have some really nice curls and you're working from home, maybe you can put these curls on during the day and wear them all day. If you don't mind, walk around the house looking like I did. And then take them out before you go out in the evening. Just run your fingers through it. And I guess that's a way to use these if you're someone like me that had a hard time sleeping. And again, these are satin straps or satin heatless curlers. So they're really good for your hair. And that's what I'm trying to do right now is just be gentle with my hair. And I know some of you are probably saying, well, then you should stop dyeing your hair. I'm not going to stop dyeing my hair. It's something that makes me feel like me. And, you know, and that's the goal here is being able to feel like yourself. Oh my goodness, I'm having trouble here. So again, this is what the Octo Curl looks like. There's a band that goes in the front that allows your hair to, you know, allows your hair to, works better on your hair. Lost a big chunk of hair there. Got tangled up in the band. That's not good. So I think this does not look bad. I think I made a mistake here and I may have rolled my hair in the wrong direction. So learn by my mistake. That's why that curl looks a little odd. So if you notice here, this one looks pretty good. This one here, not so good because I think I rolled forward instead of rolling back. But all in all, I think it's pretty decent other than the fact that I feel very tired this morning. I feel like I went out and partied last night. And for those who are interested, the minoxidil compound formula that I use, again, as I mentioned, it is a 7%. It's by this company, Moosley. It is a dermatologist. You go through, fill out their questionnaire, and a dermatologist will review your information and design a compound formula that is right for your needs, your age, your problem. My problem is, like I said, my hair is thinning. So, I don't know. Tell me, what do you think? I kind of like the single roll and it's mainly because it's easy to use and it's also easy to sleep. And I don't know about you, but I need my sleep. I gotta have my sleep. So I do like the other one, but this one, as I said, I think a good alternative is probably if you're gonna go out for the evening, maybe roll your hair in the evening or roll it during in the morning after your shower and when your hair is kind of towel dried and wear it through the day and then remove it right before you get ready to go out at night. I would put like some kind of hair serum oil or something to uh, clean up any flyaway hair. But I think it, it, other than unable to sleep and I was having trouble, excuse me, I was having trouble unraveling one of them that actually broke my hair. I can show you. No bueno. Don't like that. Other than that, I think it would work pretty good. Again, I do not use product in my hair because I'm trying to make my hair look healthy or restore my hair again. And I do spend a lot of money on other products for my hair as far as shampoos, conditioners, just to ensure that I'm being gentle to my hair. So there you go. As far as use, I found that the one curling rod was much easier to use and very comfortable to sleep in. I don't know if 
The reason why I struggled with the opto curl was because I'm a back sleeper. And I noticed that when I changed positions, I would wake up because I felt a slight tug in my hair. I don't know if perhaps wearing a hair wrap would have resolved this problem. I guess I'll have to keep experimenting with both sheetless curling tools to find the one that works best for me or gives me the best results. One of the key secrets to achieving successful sheetless curls is to be gentle when taking them out. You want to gently remove your hair from the silk or satin heatless curls and then gently run your fingers through your hair to loosen up the curls. This helps prevent breakage and tangles and gives you an effortlessly pricey look. When it comes to products, you may want to use a curl-defined cream or hair oil to enhance your curls and add shine. You can also use a hair serum to add the extra layer of protection and hydration to your hair. My personal preference is a very small amount of Eleven Smoothing and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. I apply a very small amount into the palm of my hands and comb my fingers through my hair after removing the heatless curlers. I find that it helps control any flyaway hairs or frizzing. Another tip is to use a wide tube comb or detangling brush to gently detangle your hair before curling. This helps to prevent tangles and knots and ensures that your curls will come out smooth and defined. Another tip I find is that I get better curls when my hair is slightly wet when I begin rolling or twisting my curls. And the best part, the results are totally worth it. I've received more compliments from my husband and strangers about how beautiful my hair looks. I went from flat, lifeless hair to voluminous, bouncy locks that turn heads. And the best part is that these results are totally achievable no matter what your hair type or texture. So what's the verdict? Are heatless curls really the secret to fuller looking hair? From what I've experienced, the answer is a resounding yes. By using the right techniques and products, if you like to use products, you can enhance your hair's natural volume and texture, giving you that effortless, just out of the salon look. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey into the world of heatless curls. If you've tried heatless curls before, I'd love to hear about your experience in the comments below. And if you're new to the game of heatless curls, I encourage you to give it a try and see the difference for yourself. If you want more information or a copy of today's transcript, you may find that at createthebestme.com forward slash EP093. And you'll have to come back next week because our guest will be Dr. Val Katchu. Dr. Val specializes in sleep medicine. She is an amazing guest who will provide tips and tricks to help you finally get that much wanted night's sleep so you'll have to come back next week. Don't forget to check out my next video on hair growth tips and tricks. It's going to be a good one. Thank you.